All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this is a topic that is certainly something I'm extremely passionate about, and that is detoxification. Uh, the reason why I love talking about detox is because it's actually one of the most impactful things that you can do for your body in terms of supporting it in a natural, holistic way. Um, now, don't get me wrong, the thing about detoxification is that I think a lot of people really misconstrue is that de a detox program has to be really arduous and big and overwhelming and uncomfortable and, you know, drinking, you know, apple cider, lemon, maple syrup drinks all day, every day. And the truth of the matter is, is in my experience, uh, and I've been in natural medicine for over eight years now, in my experience, the less you eat on a, in a detoxification program, the less effective your detoxification process is. And the reason for that is because your body literally requires nutrition, vitamins and minerals and enzymes to be able to properly detoxify. And so when we start to deprive our body of those building blocks for detoxification, then the whole detox process gets slowed down. So I'm gonna introduce to you um, the Detox Me program, uh, which I'm calling Ready, Set, Glow, because really, if you get behind a detox program, even if it's just um, a short, a, a little one, like we're going to do a 14-day challenge as an invite at the end to join us for free, um, what that really gives you an opportunity to do is to reset your system, reset your blood sugar, get your mindset wrapped around eating right and feeding your body right, and upregulating those detoxification pathways appropriately. Okay, so let's move on. So, um, and if you have questions about detox, maybe you've done one before, you didn't have the best results, or maybe you've done one before, you've had great results, I wanna hear from you. You can pop that in the chat box below, please. Okay, so first of all, I wanna just start out by talking about, oops, hang on. I wanna start out by talking about what is detox, okay? So everybody does detoxification every single day. It's actually part of, um, it's just part of being a human being. If you don't detoxify well, you start to experience um, things like headaches and hormonal disruption and sluggishness, bad sleeping. These are all signs and symptoms of detoxification, of poor detoxification. Um, but the detoxification process primarily takes place while we're sleeping at night. We do indeed detoxify all day. Like I said earlier, there's very specific vitamins and minerals that your liver requires to be able to go through that entire detoxification process. And, um, and if we are waking up between the hours of 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. in the middle of the night, it could be a sign that your body might not be detoxifying very well. If you wake up between the hours of 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., it could mean that your liver is a little bit on the sluggish side. Okay, so a detox program could be really great for you if you're one of those individuals. Um, when we say detoxification, people often think about detoxing chemicals, but your system actually does um, uh, detoxifies a number of things every single day. It detoxifies chemicals, heavy metals, um, byproducts of bugs that might be living in your system. I don't know if you know this, but the human body is pretty much a petri dish. dish. We're actually primarily um, other bugs, more so than we are human tissue. The Human Genome Project done in 2008 actually revealed that the human body is primarily made up of bug tissue, actually not human tissue. So a lot of those bugs act very much lend and contribute to our health. But when that internal environment starts to become toxic, then those good bugs that could have been hanging out, maybe not even contributing, but just kind of part of this like symbiotic environment inside the body, if the inside the environment becomes toxic inside, now that environment could cause an an overabundance of some of those bad or those bugs that might have been okay there, um, just you know at low levels. When they start to flourish and come into excess, we start to experience not feeling well. Candida is a great example of that. We all have candida in our digestive tracts. It's just one of many. And um, it's not a threat until that candida starts to become overgrown. And then we start to experience major symptoms, bloating, weight gain, metabolic disturbance, thyroid issues, um, estrogen dominance patterns. Those, often thing, those things often happen secondary to candida overgrowth. And that type of pattern happens um, with many other pathogens as well. Another example would be like if we did have a pathogen that might not be a good one for us, like maybe we're exposed to, like I think it's 99.8%, I think it's really 100% of people in the US have like herpes one, you know, like where they get cold sores when they're sick. Um, many people have herpes, but they don't ever experience cold sores. They never have symptoms of it. 
because the, their immune system is doing a good job of keeping that infection at bay. So a lot of people do have bad bug infections, but when the internal environment is clean and pristine, your immune system can better handle these bugs that might not have been a threat before. Now they become a threat. So detox helps your body to come back to a cleaner state internally so that that internal biological train is no longer conducive to those bugs that might not have been a threat ordinarily or those bad bugs that are being harbored at bay. It keeps them at bay. Does that make sense? If you have questions about anything, pop them in the chat box. I'll see a little notification and I'll know to address it at the end. Okay, so the detoxification process um, is really important nowadays to foster and support than ever before. Um, a lot of people ask me, like, why, you know, like, shouldn't our human bodies be well equipped enough to be able to just maintain health? And the truth of the, the truth of the matter is, yes, that is ideally what is going on. But in the modern day world, with the modern day things that we're exposed to, we know that our systems are getting bombarded with a different level of detoxification than we have ever been bombarded with before. Okay, so... Um, Things like our environmental toxins, like I was down in LA visiting my family the other day, or a couple weeks ago, and you can see the smog in the air. Those are toxins, okay? Those things, those types of toxins, some of them can actually act like endocrine disruptors. They can mess with estrogen that will mess with thyroid. Um, a lot of stuff in water, like chlorine in water, fluoride in water, those things really do disrupt the thyroid. They're um, really and truly um, iodine blockers. Iodine's a building block for thyroid hormone. So many people have thyroid issues nowadays. The basis of that is often chemical toxicity of the thyroid. We have genetically modified foods going in and just beating up our digestive tracts. That's going to cause leaky gut. It's going to mess with our ability to absorb and to absorb nutrition. And it will also start to feed those bad bugs in the gut as well. So genetically modified foods, I don't I no, don't knowingly eat genetically modified foods, but I love to go out to dinner. I'm just one of those people that really, I, my husband loves to cook at home. I love to go out. I just think it feels so luxe and fancy, you know? Who knows what they're cooking, but they could be cooking with genetically modified, um, you know, cooking oil, corn is almost always genetically modified. Peas are very highly genetically modified. And some of these things like you just don't have control over, even if you're doing the very best that you can. Um, also our cleaning products. So, there's things in our home that could be causing us exposure to extra toxins. Things like multi-purpose cleaner, floor cleaner, laundry detergent, air fresheners that aren't all natural and pure. These things are hormone disruptors. They are chemicals. They have to get detoxified by their body. They're causing additional burning, a uh, burning, additional burden to those detoxification organs. Okay, so while I'm not going to get a ton into how it is that we can clean up our internal environment on this talk today, I am inviting everybody in this webinar over to our 14-day detoxification group, and you will get tons of free recipes, DIY tips and tricks around how you can make your own cleaning products toxin-free and totally cheap, okay? So you can look forward to that in the group. So if you're wondering, like, well, do I really need to detox? If you've exhibited any of these signs and symptoms, I would encourage you to maybe give it a try, okay? Number one, sluggishness. Two, sleeplessness. Three, periods of irregularity. Four, fertility struggles. Five, thyroid issues. Six, headaches. Seven, sinus or lung congestion. Or eight, digestive discomfort. I would say even nine, skin challenges as well. So pretty much, I think, if, even if you don't have major issue in any of these things, it's also a good idea just to detox to go ahead and give your body a little bit of an energy boost because you will feel an energy boost when detoxing. Um, detox is very simple. There really is not a lot of the things that need to be involved with it. The first thing is having the right mindset. The second thing I would encourage you to do is to find some detox-friendly foods. The third thing is... Get your hands on some supportive natural remedies. And the fourth thing is to drink water, as in drink half your body weight in ounces of water. That's huge. Because as you start to mobilize this junk in your body, you're going to want to make sure that you have the fluids required to flush this stuff out of your system. So in our detox group that we're doing, we'll have inspiration posts for you. We're going to be sharing detox-friendly food recipes. They are delicious. Um, we're going to be sharing supportive natural remedies. 
Um, one of, I myself, and for those of you that don't know me, I'm sorry to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Melissa Escara. Um, I'm a doctor of chiropractic and a functional medicine practitioner by trade. I've been working with people for over, this is going to be my eighth year, and um, I love natural medicine. I have a big background in herbology and concentrated um, nutritional supplementation and functional medicine, and um, I absolutely love using natural support to get the body to realign and come back to balance. One of my very favorite do-it-yourself natural remedies are doTERRA essential oils and their products. And the reason for that is because in the world of natural medicine, if you are not using clean, pure, and, and therapeutic grade products, you are not, you are almost wasting your money. Depends on what product it is that you're using. But I think if you're going to be putting natural solutions that are concentrated into your body, and with natural medicine, most of it's concentrated, you're going to be doing that. You need to make sure that you trust and know about the sourcing and about the purity of the products. And what I love about doTERRA is their essential oils are clean and pure and they work. And what I love about their supplementation is it's clean, it's pure, it's extremely supportive. And the, big, the biggest thing about these two things about their essential oils and their supplements is that people notice a difference. And that to me says everything. I've been able to interact with thousands of people using doTERRA and it's really enabled them to take control of their health and not have to spend hundreds of dollars going to a natural doctor. Now, as a natural doctor, I, I of course think I of course know the value in seeing a natural doctor, but if you're wanting to make a DIY of it, which I think most people can get huge results DIYing it, I would say 98% of the population can, Use the products that we're talking about today because my aim is really to empower you to be able to take hold and do this on your own. You would be surprised what your body can do when you start knowing exactly what it is that it requires nutritionally and in terms of natural, uh, natural solutions. So let's talk mindset, okay? When we start getting into detox, I'm gonna mention some foods that you're gonna to wanna to avoid. But when it comes to mindset, what your brain does not wanna hear, it does not want to hear what it can't have, okay? So I want you to open up your mind, take a deep breath in right now. Inhale and let that out, exhale. And tell yourself that you are choosing to nurture your body with whole food nutrition. Okay, so when I tell you the things that you're not supposed to have, it's not like I'm telling you you can't have it. I'm telling you that you get to choose, okay, you get to choose other foods that are going to be more nutri nutritional and supportive of your optimal health, okay? All right, so here we go. Let's talk nutrition. You guys, food is everything. It's literally the foundation of your health. It is the building blocks of your detoxification process. They offer the building blocks for your hormones. They offer the building blocks for the repair of your gut lining, of your skin tissue each and every day, of your ability for your cells to go in and repair every single night when you go to sleep. And so without the proper nutrition, your body is always going to be running at a, a little bit more sluggish than it should. And what happens when those detoxification pathways start to get sluggish? Your body is going to do everything it can to keep those toxins that were unable to, to get broken down to um, be able to leave the system. It will take those toxins and store them as far away from your organs as possible. And do you know what organ is the favorite storage organ? It's fat. And so if you aren't eating proper nutrition for your system, you aren't feeding those proper detoxification pathways, and then you're actually then fostering the storage of toxins in your fat tissue. Okay, so let's choose to eat good foods to foster this detoxification process, okay? Here are some simple food principles that I wanna share with you. First of all, I want you guys to know on a good detox, you'll be eating a lot, a lot of food. You should not be hungry, okay? I will be sharing some really yummy and delicious food recipes for you. Someone has a question, let's see. Um, okay, I'll get back to that question. Okay, so here are the four tips for your food. Number one, avoid the whites. What we mean by that, um, a lot, these four tips I just wanna say were tips from a health coach that I know, her name is, Dr. is Elaine Basho, she's amazing. And I thought that she really broke down these principles so beautifully. Um, avoid the whites. What she meant by that was avoid the white flour and avoid the white sugar, okay? Whole grains are not something that you have to shy away from, although it's not a bad idea to get really minimal with them on a detox, um, but, but you definitely wanna avoid the whites because those things are 
they're processed, they're going to cause blood sugar spike, and they're going to probably feed some of those bad bugs in your digestive tract. Bad bugs, they love processed sugar. They love processed um, processed grains, okay? Tip number two, lots of greens. So what I mean by greens, I basically mean produce, okay? But greens, um, the idea of eating lots of cruciferous vegetables, and if you want it, if you want to, you can go ahead and Google that name, but you can see a lot of cruciferous vegetables in this image here. You can see the spinach here. You can see the broccoli. You can see the Brussels sprouts. Other, other um, cruciferous vegetables would be bok choy, cauliflower. Um, those, those greens are going to um, offer a ton of the cofactors required for your liver in order to be able to do phase one and phase two detoxification within the liver. And what I mean by phase one and phase two, those are the steps required to be able to turn those toxins that are getting delivered to the liver from the body, to turn them into a water-soluble source so that you can then eliminate them through the kidneys or through the digestive tract. You literally need the vitamins in cruciferous vegetables like sulfur and the B vitamins in there to be able to detoxify to turn those toxins into a water-soluble source. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're drinking plenty of water, drink half your body weight in ounces, like we said before. And then I'm also very, very big on supplementing your nutrition. Because let's be honest, unless if you're eating between nine to 12 servings of fruits and vegetables per day, you're already vitamin and mineral deficient. So I say, why not supplement? Because if, you are, if you're falling short on that, even just one day, you're gonna be in the red. So I like to take supplements because it helps my body come back to baseline every single day. So I'm eating, I usually get close to nine servings a day, but I take my vitamins and that puts me over into the green zone. So the supplements that I'm recommending is a doTERRA product because it's whole food, excellent quality, and people notice a difference when they're taking them. That's a surefire sign that you're actually absorbing and utilizing those nutrients. So the supplement pack is called the Lifelong Vitality Pack. I highly, highly recommend it. I think if you take one thing out of everything that's mentioned here, it's taking this product. Because just by bringing your body back to baseline, your system will naturally upregulate the detoxification process. You're going to see three products listed here. The first one is the Microplex VMZ. It stands for Vitamin and Minerals. Um, so that's going to be all your baseline nutrients that's pictured right here. Um, the second thing you'll see is your Z Omega. So Z Omega is your essential fatty acid blend. Okay, your essential fatty acids are also a vital nutrient. Your system will use them to repair the lining of the gut. Will use them to repair the skin tissue. It'll use them to be able to create. Um, things like um, the vascular lining for your cardiovascular system. It's going to feed your brain and your nervous system. And then the third thing here is the Alpha CRS. The Alpha CRS is called the Cellular Vitality Complex. It's basically a cellular renewal blend, but there's tons of anti-inflammatory supporting items in here. There's um, curcumin, there's um, grape seed extract, there's green tea extract, there's even resveratrol and asanthan, so there's a combination of anti-inflammatories and antioxidants in that blend. If you ask me, looking at the three of these supplements, the, one, the reason why people notice a difference, like Erin Meredith, she's sharing, she swears by these supplements, she says. Thanks for sharing, Erin. The reason why people swear by these supplements, like Erin, the reason why they notice a difference is because of the Alpha CRS. I truly believe that. I have noticed a huge change with that. And I think it's because everybody needs some extra support when it comes to keeping inflammation down in the body. These toxins that we're exposed to living in the modern day human life, our system is constantly in this pro-inflammatory state. And so yet the alpha CRS just supports the system coming back to a state of neutral every day. Shelly Shet says that the alpha CRS, she agrees with me. Yeah, the alpha CRS, me too. Thank you, Shelly. So here we go. Now that we've got the foundation laid, step two is remove the junk. And that's really where mother nature can come in. So the thing about detoxification, if you're new listening to this, I still invite you to join in on our detoxification, even if all you're doing is supporting the foundation of your body with food. I think that if you could do food and the supplements, even better, okay? But everything here going forward, the mother nature piece, this is where the real detoxification comes in. The food and the supplements is going to bring your body back to baseline and help those natural pathways upregulate. But when we start talking about bringing in Mother Nature and removing the junk, that's really where you're going to see some major changes happen in your body. 
bringing, removing the stuff that's caused the imbalances, removing the chemicals, removing the heavy metals, helping the body to pull that stuff from stored tissue, removing the bad bugs, and helping the body to rebalance the good flora in the gut and then also the peripheral body as well. Okay, so here we go. Let's start by talking about um, that. Sorry, there's a, using Mother Nature to support the foundations. We already mentioned the vitamins, okay? But we can use other nutrients like enzymes to go in and clean out the digestive tract, okay? So enzymes, think of them like Pac-Mans, little Pac-Man. So they go through, they help your body digest your food. So they'll eat up, just like Pac-Man eats up those little dots and those little things in the game. That's exactly what Terrazyme does. So you eat food, your body will naturally release enzymes, and those enzymes will start to eat up the food. Now we release enzymes in the mouth, we release them in the stomach, we release different ones in the pancreas that go into the small intestine. Your gallbladder will actually release bile, which is an enzyme that will help, acts like an enzyme that helps to break up fat. And then your small intestine will also release enzymes. Now the thing is, and the reason why a lot of us need a little bit of support with that, is because a lot of us have grown up eating processed carbohydrates, processed grains, and extra sugar. The thing about those types of foods is they exhaust our enzyme stores. So by the time most people are 30, they're already coming from a place of enzyme deficiency. And we don't just need enzymes in our gut. We actually need enzymes for all types of processes in our body, like creating hormones, like detoxification in and of itself. Um, our ability to create and form neurotransmitters, enzymes are required for all those things. But it's in the gut that we can really work on supporting and replenishing those enzymes. And that's why I like Terrazyme, and I recommend that we take it almost on a daily basis, um, especially if you're somebody that notices that you float right after meals or between meals. Um, Lisa asked a question. She said, whole food plant-based can cause tons of bloating and gas, so I assume that Terrazyme helps with this. Yeah, Terrazyme will help with this. And the truth of the matter is, is if, if you're eating a whole food diet and you're noticing that you're bloating, it's because you're enzyme deficient. It's not that the whole food based, the whole food based diet is causing you to bloat. It's that your gut is not digesting it appropriately. And that's why you need the terrazyme. Good to know. Yes, thank you for that question. Now another foundational piece that I recommend on a daily basis is the wild orange essential oil or any citrus essential oil. They're cheap. This bottle of 250 drops is 10 bucks. 200, you only need one drop per dose. You can see a, like a little glass right there. You just need one drop of wild orange in there. By doing this every single day and helping your body to detoxify any types of chemicals in your system. Also, we know that citrus oil is very high in a constituent called limonene. Limonene is, um, is actually one of those uh, constituent, it's one of those cofactors that helps your body replenish glutathione in the gut. And glutathione in and of itself is a cofactor for detoxification. Also, glutathione is an anti-aging antioxidant. I love that. And you can work on replenishing that just by drinking your wild orange. Now, a lot of us are, are um, blasting through our, our glutathione because of the toxicity in our bodies. Glutathione is an antioxidant, so it's going to go in and work on neutralizing some of that. The wild orange is going to go in and help your body to recycle glutathione at a more appropriate rate. Okay, so these things are foundational. So this would be kind of like, I think this is a daily regimen for me. The alpha is this um, vitamin blend, the lifelong vitality, pictured here in the middle the terrazyme, as well as drinking citrus. In fact, I have a little bit of citrus oil right next to me right now in my hot water. I just love it. Now, the next piece, going, going a little bit deeper into your detox, so beyond eating correctly and taking your vitamins, beyond supplementing with terrazyme and citrus oil, is going in and supporting these organs where the toxins are eliminated. So if you were to think of filtration organs, meaning the organs that these toxins are going to exit through, I'm sure one of the first things that you think about are your digest is your digestive tract, right? So the gut is one of the biggest filtering organs. It's actually one of the biggest organs in your body. If you looked at the surface area of the gut and we flattened it out, it would actually cover the surface area of a tennis court. That's how big and vast the digestive tract really is if you flattened out the surface area of it. Amazing, right? So the gut needs to be supported. So most of us need help supporting these filtration organs. The digestive tract, the skin is another one. The skin is um, 
when we start to like notice that maybe you're getting like adult onset acne, irritation, you notice some dry patches on your skin, could be a sign that your gut is have your skin is having a hard time, your body is having a hard time getting rid of these toxins. So its last ditch effort is to get it out through the skin. Another sign, another thing that could mean is that you have a lot of toxins sitting in fat tissue, which lies right beneath the skin. And so if you're not um, like filtering out appropriately on a daily basis, whether you're going through a detox or not, it would be a good idea for you to support your filtration organs on a daily basis for a while, maybe four to six months and see how you do. Um, and then we want to think about also supporting the, the lung. That's another big, big filtration organ. The kidney is another one, which I didn't have a pretty picture to put up on here. <laughs> so your kidney is another one, and then your liver is another one that we want to make sure that we're, that we're supporting. So what I love about doTERRA is they're, they're put, they're, all of their formulas are put together um, by a science and research team, but one of their head clinicians is a chiropractor. And if any of you have been around chiropractors, you know that they're very holistically minded because of the way that they're educated. And what I love about their, about their detoxification um, supplement that they have here for t is that they don't just work on supporting the liver and the kidneys, which is what a lot of detox products do, but the Zendocrine supports this one here, the Zendocrine Complex actually has herbs in it that support all the filtration organs, the skin, the lungs, the gut, the liver, and the kidneys. So the Zendocrine Complex is actually full of um, herbs that work on supporting that, okay? And then you also have the Zendocrine Soft Gel. Now the Zendocrine Soft Gel might have the same name as the Complex, but the Soft Gel is entirely different. The Soft Gel has essential oils in there. So the essential oils are gonna go in and do a lot of the detoxification on their own, okay? So the detoxification itself is being supported with cilantro oil, okay? So cilantro oil has, um, it's a, has the ability to go in and work on pulling on heavy metals. And that, that pulling process is gonna bring those toxins to the liver, and then the zendocrine complex is gonna support the liver in being able to do its job. Just like the food is going to support the liver in doing its job, and some of the supplements in the Lifelong Vitality Pack will do that too. But the Zendocrine Complex has herbs that work specifically with the liver in that detoxification process. And then other things in the Zendocrine Soft Gel, again, these are essential oils, um, are the, the tangerine oil. The tangerine is going to go after the chemicals. Um, again, bringing those chemicals over, well, attacking some of those chemicals on site, but also helping them. Um, helping to mobilize them and get them over to the liver. Then you also have juniper berry in there. Juniper berry is going to help the kidney filter more appropriately. You have geranium in there. Geranium is going to help decongest the gallbladder. Once the liver's done detoxifying that junk, it's turned it into a water-soluble source. Then it dumps all the, it dumps some of it into the gallbladder, some of it goes to the kidneys. Now what happens with detox is that a lot of us already have a sluggish gallbladder. Geranium is going to help to decongest the gallbladder so that those toxins can more appropriately exit out to the gut so that they can go ahead and leave the body from there. Okay. Um, yeah, so that would be the, the detoxification complex. So one of these is really supporting that whole elimination with the, detox, the Zendocrine complex. And then the detoxification itself is being supported with the soft gel. People get confused about this and they think that they can just do one or the other, but really they're meant to be taken together. Okay. Um, the next um, supplement, the next level to go even deeper into your detox is to work on supporting harmonizing the gut. Now, 70% of our immune system is in the gut. You can think of your, di your digestive tract kind of like a little mini ecosystem. We have hundreds of thousands of bacteria and fungus and even parasites living in the digestive tract. Parasites are never supposed to be there, but you know, they are because we eat, you know, sushi and meat and fish, you know. Um, our, technically, our stomach acid should be strong enough to kill anything that's going into the gut. But a lot of us are walking around with poor stomach acid, which is why it's good to take Terrazyme. Um, but there's ways to harmonize the digestive tract. Now, I have the supplements listed here in the, in the front because this is the very most important piece here. Because these supplements support the body in doing what it's meant to do, which is come back to homeostasis. But by the time you have digestive disharmony, the chances, and you're having the symptoms of it, the chances are is that you've developed a little bit of leaky gut. And so the Alpha CRS is going to go in and support 
you know, calming down the fire and inflammation in there, helping your body to remove the smoke so that you can, so that your immune system can look around more clearly and go, okay, I need to get rid of this bug, this bug, this bug. We need to repair this wall over here. We've got to do some healing on this side here. And so the office CRS goes in and it makes that environment more conducive to the healing process. And then you have your essential fatty acids and your vitamins and minerals to be able to go in and support the healing of the damaged gut lining. Now, one thing to also consider is that some of these supplements have 10 different essential oils in them. Frankincense is one of them. We know that frankincense is extremely supportive of that healing process, that DNA repair process. So that's really important about the vitamins is you're giving your gut frankincense in there. You also have ginger oil in there, which is anti-inflammatory to the gut, and you have clove oil in there, which is gonna be supportive of the immune system within the gut. Okay, so that's baseline. Once you've gone in, you've cleared out, so let's say your, your, your house has had a fire in it. Maybe your kitchen had a fire. Let's not make it your whole house. The kitchen had a fire, okay? And so first things first, you gotta put out the fire, get the, open the windows, get the smoke out of the room. That's all being done with the vitamins, okay? Then we wanna go in and clean up. Clean up the junk, right? Clean up the damage, clean up the walls that had, you know, black paint, you know, the paint's turned black or whatever from the smoke. That's the GX Assist. Your GX Assist is going to go in and it's going to support reharmonizing the good bacteria with the bad bacteria. Let's remove the stuff that doesn't belong so that now the environment, the real estate is now available again for the good bugs to go in and repopulate themselves. And then we wanna go in and support the good bugs in repopulating, which is where the PB assist comes in. So now that we've removed all the, the, the damage, okay, we can go in and repaint the walls and give the walls extra support in case some things have been burnt down. That's where the PB assist comes in. And then the healing process, the painting process, is actually also done with the vitamins. Does that make sense? Any questions so far? And if you have them, pop them in the chat box. By you asking questions, it helps to make it clear for everybody as well. Um, Lisa's asking if um, a parasite, what about parasite cleanses? Are they necessary? Yeah, so um, I think everybody has parasites. Um, it, that's been my experience. I don't think it's necessary to go in and start looking for things that aren't there uh, when, when the symptom's not there. Maybe, you're, maybe your immune system has done a good job at eliminating this stuff. I think when you start to experience digestive issues um, and you've done cleanses like this where it's very generally supporting, even though we're going through and affecting these body systems a little bit deeper than we might just expecting our body to do on its own by doing things like GX Assist and PB Assist and citrus oils and Zendocrine, you know, if this is not cutting it, then maybe you need to go in and do a little bit more investigation around what else is going on. Okay, but again, I'm a big advocate for the DIY with clean and pure natural support. And I think this really is enough for most of the population. If it's not, then go in and do a little bit of extra investigation with parasites and things like that. Now the final, pro the final point here with this detox that we're talking about is cellular renewal. Okay, now this is a new part of the doTERRA cleanse that I really love. I actually love taking DDR Prime every day. I notice a big difference with my, my daily regimen will be Lifelong Vitality Pack, DDR Prime Soft Gels, Citrus Oils every day, and Terrazyme when I eat. Um, anything else like, like the GX Assist, the PB Assist, um, the Zendocrine, I will rotate on and off of throughout the year. And once a year, I'll do this particular cleanse that we're going through today. Um, now, the DDR Prime is so awesome because it has essential oils that have been researched. You can look up a lot of research with these oils on PubMed.org. Um, these essential oils are known to have had a lot of research done proving that they support healthy cells. Unhealthy cells cause long-term chronic concerns with the body. The DDR Prime is meant to support the body on a daily basis in the cellular renewal process. Toxicity causes a lot of fog and smog in that internal environment. DDR Prime goes in and it protects the cells on a day-to-day -day basis within that current environment as it exists. And I love that, that makes it so powerful. So think about you going in and working on clearing out the fog and every single day with those vitamins, um, every single day bringing in that terrazyme, clearing out the fog in the gut, because if you aren't breaking down your food appropriately and not releasing adequate enzymes, guess what? That food is rotting. 
it's rotting food. It becomes putrefied in the gut because you're not breaking it down appropriately. Isn't that amazing? And if you're wondering, why do I bloat? Why do I have gas? It's because there's probably because there's putrefied and rotting food in the gut, right? So that's going to create a dirty environment in the digestive tract. That's why I love, I love, I love the combination of the terrazyme and the vitamins that we talked about. And then you have the DDR prime to go in and do cellular renewal every single day. And I love that. I just think it's so proactive. It's such a beautiful um, concept. And so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. You guys, the whole detox process, I could actually break down each of these categories and do an hour long talk on each of them. So I actually will be breaking down the detox process even more so in our detox me group that we have coming up. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what you're going to get in it. And then I'm going to tell you how it is that you can add yourself. Okay. So the detox me group, um, we, it's a 14 day challenge. We're starting it on Monday, the 23rd. I'm going to encourage you to join the group this week. Starting next week, you're going to start seeing some posts around preparation week um, because I think it's important that you start getting your mindset straight around detox. You start getting your shopping lists. So you're going to see posts rolling out exactly a week from today. And then on the 23rd is going to be day one. Okay, so if you haven't already, get your hands on these products. If you're listening and learning about doTERRA for the first time, reach out to the person that invited you to watch this webinar and have them help you get these products because you can get them very discounted if you help, if you sign up with some, if you get them through somebody that's already signed up with doTERRA. It's kind of crazy, the discount. If you already have a wholesale account, get your hands on these products. You can get them discounted if you buy them as the cleanse and restore kit. Um, on your wholesale account. So let me tell you about how, what you're going to get in this Detox Me group, this 14-day challenge. The first thing is you're going to get daily tips and education. You're going to learn, you're going to get in the know about cleaning up your body and then how to keep it healthy all year long. You don't want to just do this 14-day challenge and then like not know how to maintain the changes that you were able to acquire. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. Um, you're going to have get detox delicious recipes Remember that you really should be able to detox and eat. The more you eat, the better you'll detox, the better you're going to feel. I'm going to share some awesome detox-friendly foods. Um, you're also going to get the Detox Me mini cookbook that I've created just for you guys. Um, I'll see if I can't show you a preview before I get off this recording. And then you're also going to get some yoga and medita meditation or breathing exercises to support healthy detox. Your breath is one of the ways that you detox every single day in every single 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to talk about, um, I'm going to ask Danae Robinette, who's an amazing yoga and meditation instructor, I'm going to ask her to guest speak on that for us. Um, you also get expert Facebook Lives and Q&A sessions. So I'll be on here. Um, uh, I'm, I'm a doctor of chiropractic and a functional medicine practitioner. Um, so you'll be hearing from me. You're going to be hearing from Judy Specht. She's offered, to, she is actually a healer, a Reiki healer. She's going to talk about lymphatic drainage and how to keep your lymph system appropriately moving. You're going to hear from Elaine Basho, who's a health coach. We've got some other people that I'm talking to, trying to get them to speak and contribute as well. So it's just going to be an amazing group full of high value. And then I'm most excited about number five. I'm doing daily giveaways, you guys. Every single day, there's going to be a post in that group starting on day one. And in the post, you're going to have to respond in the post. So in order to enter the raffle, you'll have to comment. And then everybody who comments gets entered in the raffle. So I've got toxin-free um, DIY cleaning, making your own cleaning supplies like glass spray bottles, this really awesome um, deep make your own cleaning products and home care products recipe book. I've got um, dryer balls. I've got essential oil little carry bags. I've got essential oils. I've got diffusers. I have amazing gifts for you guys. So I'm super excited. You're definitely want, going to want to join in on this. And so in order to join in, it's very easy. You're going to text 650-206-5002. And the only thing that you text is the word detox. Don't write me this huge message on there like, I'm so excited, da, da, da. I'm excited too. But if you write me a whole message, with the word detox in the, in the message, it's not going to register you. So you have to just type the word detox plain and simple. After you type in the word detox, I would love to hear from you. Then you can go ahead and text me um, and I can text back and things like that. But I just need that single, that single text detox will automatically get you triggered 
um, to shoot over a link that you just have to click and then you can request to join our Facebook group and I would be more than happy to approve you so that you can come in and join us in on the fun, join in with us on the fun. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. If you have any questions, I would love for you to share this with others, absolutely. Um, my aim is to empower as, as many people as possible, empower and equip as many people as possible to be able to own this beautiful process of supporting and upregulating your detoxification pathways, okay? All right, so that's it for now. I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for being on. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. If you're watching this as a recording and you have questions, feel free to email me You can uh, or Facebook message me, but you can email me at um, in, uh, info at drmelissaescara.com. That's E-S-G-U-E-R-R-A, and you can spell Melissa, M-E-L-I-S-S-A. Again, that's info at drmelissaescara.com. Thank you so much for being on, and I will see you in the Facebook group. Take care.